Hello ladies, it's Sarah Visser here with 31 and I wanted to show you how to use this great tool called PickMonkey. Um, first thing you have to do is just go to pick, P -I -C, monkey com, and it'll take you to this screen. You don't have to sign in or anything to get started, it's absolutely free. You can upgrade to be a royal member and to get some more fonts and pictures and stuff, but I've been using it for quite a while and haven't upgraded, so, you know, I think it's fun. When you come here, you're going to have four main options at the top, and they are to edit an existing picture, to touch up a picture, to design something, or to create a collage. Now, when you click on each of these, um, or hover over them, you're going to get the options. It's nice because you can pull in your pictures from your computer or from Facebook, Flickr, your Dropbox, any of those kind of things. So you can edit a picture, you can touch up a picture, you can design, which is where I create all the flyers and stuff that I make, or you can do a collage. So if you want to design, you just start here and you can choose your size. Now if you wanted to say design a flyer, so you want an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, you would just go to custom and you see it's in pixels, but all I do is I go to Google and I type in 8.5 by 11 in pixels and it'll tell me see it actually took me to the Pick monkey help site 8.5 by 11 is 2250 by 3300 pixels I'm sorry 2550 by 3300 pixels so I would just go back to my pick monkey I forgot what it was already 2550 by 3300 so I was in Design, Custom, 2550 by 3300, and I say Make It, and it has made me a sheet of paper that's 8.5 by 11. Okay, so for this one I'm not going to make anything yet, I just want to walk you through all the options. Okay, so when you first come, it's going to open you right up to the canvas, and you can choose whatever canvas color you want, or you can leave it white, it's totally up to you. Um, before you can move on, it's going to ask you if you want to apply it. You have to apply it. So right now we're in this very first basic edit section. You can crop, you know, if you bring in a picture and you, you only want part of it, you can crop it and cut out part. You can change the canvas color, which is what we just did. You can rotate your picture, change the exposure if it's too dark and too light, you know, add some colors. Um, sharpen the picture if it's a little blurry or even resize it. So this is just your basic um, basic edits, just things to get you started. Now if you go down to the next one here, the little magic wand, these are different effects that you can use. And it's probably a little hard to see since I don't have an actual picture in here. But um, but you can, you know, at Put in whatever kind of effects that you want to make it look a little different or like it's at dusk, you know, change some different things here. Um, I don't use these a whole, whole lot because, like I said, I'm usually making things from scratch, but if you're editing a picture, these will be really handy. Also, if you're editing a picture or if you have that Facebook photo that is almost perfect but not quite where you want it, you can change everything from making yourself lose some weight, you forgot to put on your eyeliner, um, any of these things. Once again, this isn't one I use a whole lot. I use the basic edits and I use the text a ton. So it's really easy to add text. You have all of these options here. You know, just tons of text options. The only ones you can't use are the ones with the little crowns because those are the ones you would have to upgrade for. But there are plenty of choices without using those. Um, and adding text is super easy. Um, you just choose a font, click add text, and here it is. Um, so you have your text here, and then you get your little text thing here, which is a lot like Word if you use that. You know, you can make things center. Some of the text options have bold and italics, but some of them don't. Um, you can change, you know, the colors however you want. Um, you can make it fill up your area or not. You know, if I want it to be centered on the paper, I would just drag my text box, you know, to these two sides and make sure it was centered. Or if you want to make it left or right, 
Um, you can flip it around or even put it upside down. So lots of lots of text options there. And then if I decide I don't really like that one, I can just click on a different one and it'll just you know rotate through and see what I like. Okay, so that is the text icon. The next one, the little butterfly, is overlays, which is the same thing, just as like little pictures you can put in there. So um, I love these doodly hearts, aren't they cute? So you just click it to add in any of them, and you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can flip them around or upside down, you can change the color. You know, if I don't need any color that you want on there. Um, so these are a lot of fun, and there is a ton of pictures already in here. And if there's something in here that isn't what you need, um, you can always import your own picture. But these are just a lot of fun to put in your stuff or to use to decorate. Um, and then look, look at all these. There's just a ton, which is really nice. I find that I really like to use like the banners and stuff in mine. You know, when I'm, I use these a good bit on my 31 stuff. You know, I just rotate them, then I'll type some text and, and put it over the top of it. And it makes, you know, just make things a little cuter. Um, the labels I like a lot, too, for the same reason. You know, you can just type things in them. Look, that one's royal. See, that's what will happen if you try to use something that is a royal one. But, you know, um, I think these are really cute to be able to type stuff in. So there's all kind of great options there, and they just keep going. You can pretty much find just about anything you need in these, which is really great. All right, the next one down here that looks like a little um, picture frame is the frames. So you can, you know, add a border. You know, if I want it a little thicker, I can make it thicker. I can make it thinner. If I don't like that one, I hit cancel. Um, I can make it look like a Polaroid picture. Um, see, isn't that cute? So you can add any kind of frames to it. I find that I use the museum mat one a good bit on my, especially on my Facebook banners or just the simple edge. So those are some that I like a lot. So I'm just going to stick one on there just for fun. Uh, the next one down is textures. I don't use a whole lot of these either. But you can, <laughs> that's pretty cool, you can add any of these textures to your pictures to make it look like, you know, there's different things going behind it and you can move, you know, move stuff around. So that one's cool, we'll just throw that one on there for now. So that's um, the textures that just make it not, you know, a flat sheet of paper, it just gives it some pattern, I guess you would say. And then this very last one is themes which a lot of them seem to be um, holiday themed, especially they must really like Halloween. But there are some really cute ones. I find a lot of cute stuff in the Celebrate theme. It just kind of groups things. Um, these party hats are fun to stick on people. Uh, but So that's a theme. Um, the school one's also fun. It's got uh, some really nice overlays, little pictures in there. Uh, but you could use that to all kind of go together. The tape and the push pins are also really fun for 31 stuff to kind of make it look like, you know, you've pinned something in. Um, but those are all the buttons on the side. The only other thing that you really need to do is to know how to save it. So all you do is hit save and it'll take you here. And you just type in whatever you want to save it as and then save it to your computer and you're good to go. So that's just, you know, the quick and dirty of um, PicMonkey and what everything does. So I hope you learned something new. Thanks.